Hey, greetings everyone. I've uh, been wanting to put in some rain barrels for quite some time now, so I've finally made some time to get it done. And I just wanted to show everyone else what I've come up with. I looked at quite a few uh, videos on the YouTube, looking for ideas, seeing what everyone else has done. And uh, this is my solution here. Just give you a quick overview of the system. Basically, it's your typical 55 gallon barrel that I got from the local car wash. Used to have soap in it. I'll show you what the bungs are like on the top a little bit later. What I did is tapped into the downspout, as you can see, using a uh, rain spout adapter for outside sewer drain pipe. And then that goes into some standard 3 inch PVC. What I've done here at the bottom is basically this is a dirt trap. I know a lot of people just run their pipe right into the top of their barrel and put a little screen or something over it, but that seems kind of sloppy and just uh, not quite as pretty as this solution. I actually saw this on another YouTube video. A gentleman from San Francisco. I just try as hard as I can. I have not been able to find that video again. But if I do, I'll post a link to it in the comments section. And what it does is all the dirt, in theory, should come down and fall into this uh, bottom straight pipe. And then the very bottom there, there's a cap that unscrews. So every once in a while, I can get in there and just drain that out and take all the dirt and leaves out if there are any. So what will happen is as the water comes down, it'll start to fill up. And it'll come up this uh, two-inch pipe off the Y and go in and fill the barrel. Then on the left side, we have a drain, which is just a three-quarter inch pipe. I know a lot of people say you need to have a bigger drain, but unfortunately, due to the bung limitations on this barrel, I couldn't really do it, and I'll show you why a little bit later. But uh, this particular spout only drains about uh, one-fourth of the roof, so I've never really seen it have a tremendous volume of water. So I'm hoping this will be enough. That uh, down pipe there is just a temporary solution. I'm going to have to run this down to the ground later so we don't get as much splashing and probably run it out to the grass so we don't get a lot of erosion. I'll take you a little bit closer now and show you some of the details. Okay, just zooming in a little bit, sort of the very top of the system. This is just a uh, square downspout adapter. They have them at Lowe's. The way they call us SDR pipe. Uh, the manufacturer's NDS, so if you go onto the Lowe's.com and just type in NDS as your search parameters, you'll find the piping. It's a little bit different size than the standard um, drain pipe, the three inch that you can find in your house. Which I think they call it DMV. In any regards, this is just an adapter that the standard downspout fits into. And then this is some uh, three inch sewer drain pipe. I use this on the outside. All of my other downspouts uh, feed into this in the ground and go out to a safe location away from the house. In any regards, this is an adapter and this takes us into some standard PVC. This is 3 inch. Just a few notes on these bungs here. These have two different bungs. These are both 2 inches. On the right side here, this has a standard NPS 2 inch. So I could get a male adapter, 2 inch PVC male adapter at Lowe's and just screwed right in here. However, on the other side here, it has this coarse thread. It's not a standard uh, NPS thread. And I was not able to find anywhere where they had a thread like this for PVC piping. But in any regards, on the inside, it is threaded for a three-quarter inch NPS. So what you can do is take a hole saw and drill that out. And then, like I did over here, put the three-quarter inch male adapter in there. That's the reason I had to go with a three-quarter inch drain on the left, as opposed to I'd like to have a two-inch. I guess time will tell if this is going to be large enough. If it's not, I'm going to have to come up with some other solution. I did get a couple barrels from the uh, local Pepsi plant. And thank you to those people. They're very generous. The problem with those barrels is on both sides they have this coarse 2 inch adapter so I wasn't able to use those and go with this type of solution. I know a lot of people have just drilled holes in the barrels and fit baskets in there or used a bulkhead connector. The problem is there's no way to get inside this barrel to be able to screw a uh, bulkhead adapter on there. So this seemed like the most elegant solution for me. It's the only possible downfall I can say is that this may not be adequate to drain it. So time will tell. We might have to come up with an engineering re revision for that. What I have the barrel sitting on is I have a few of these concrete blocks that I got from Lowe's. There's basically two, uh, two layers, four inches each. It takes it eight inches up off the ground. I just want to keep it up out of the mud, leave enough room I can get a hose on here. Uh, this is going to basically feed a hose soaker line, which is just going to go down. This is uh, on top of a hill, so we'll have gravity working for us. And we'll just go down and water the trees and the bushes using the uh, water out of this barrel. 
But this is a, what they call a hose bib. It's a half inch. It's basically, it looks like a, here's a three quarter inch version of that. This will take your standard hose adapter here, and it has a male thread. And what I did here, again, since I can't get access to the inside of the barrel, I used a half inch down here, and I drilled a three-quarter inch hole. I'm going to use one of these guys. Someone else had suggested this, so I found, I think, on YouTube or on the Internet somewhere. It's basically an adapter for an electrical conduit box, but it's watertight. And this has a standard three-quarter inch uh, female thread here, so this fits right into this hose bit very nicely. And there's also a half-inch version of this, which of course I used on the barrel down here. I didn't use the three-quarter inch, which I wanted to, because I couldn't find the right size hole saw that would allow this thing to thread into this barrel. I used a three-quarter inch hole saw on this one, I believe, and it threaded very nicely. But uh, basically, there is a little rubber washer down here. And I just threaded it into the plastic. I also put a little bit of silicon, just as an extra measure of protection. The key here is not to overdo it, overdo it with the tightening, because it is just uh, a thin wall of plastic, so it's very easy to strip that. But uh, so far, so good. I've only got a few inches of water in here. I just shot some water up on the roof with the hose just to make sure everything's working. It's not completely finished yet, because what I'm probably going to need to do is uh, put a union over here in this section, a two-inch union, so if I need to, I can just unscrew this. Otherwise, if this is all glued together and we need to take it apart, I'm going to have to hit the saw out, and that's not a very good solution. So I forgot to get the union when I was at the store. I'll have to do that tomorrow. Anyway, this is what I come up with so far. Next time it rains, we'll uh, see how long it takes to fill this baby up. Then I'll hook the soaker hose up to it and put a timer on it, which I have laying around the shed. And people do some good for the earth here. If nothing else, kind of looks cool. Hey, just one more uh, comment. If you're going to do a design like this, you have to be uh, cautious to the height of the pipes. So this pipe over here that adapts to the downspout, that has to be the highest. And then the pipe that fits feeds into the barrel, that needs to be your next highest tier. And then your drain, of course, would be your lowest. And the problem is if you had that adapter down below the level of this, it would overflow from the adapter, and then the water would never get up high enough to fill the barrel because water is always going to uh, self-level. And same here, if you had this higher than the inlet, actually higher than the, uh, the inlet off the downspout, it would never drain out of here. It would drain out of the downspout end. Which, of course, wouldn't be good because then all your water would go down on your foundation and uh, cause you problems there. Hey, and, of course, no YouTube uh, rain barrel demonstration would be complete without uh, turning the valve on. There's only about four inches of water in here, but just to prove it does work. This is a quarter turn uh, bib, which is really nice. That's not bad pressure. That ought to feed our sucker hose pretty good. Hey, here's your uh, bonus video section. I just got this new metal chop saw for some metal fabrication I was going to do, just as a hobbyist. And I was curious if I could uh, cut this PVC, because cutting the larger PVC with a handsaw is kind of a bit of a pain. It never seems to come out straight and you get all the burrs in it, you have to uh, clean off the piece of sandpaper. So I did a little query in the Google and found a few guys that said they did it, so I tried it out and sure enough it works. So, I'll give you a quick demo here. right in place. Use your eye and ear in protection. This thing's pretty loud and dangerous. Definite widow maker. Keep your fingers clear. Now as you can see, we've got a very nice straight turning cut. There's no burrs in there at all. I'm going to need to debar it. And it saves a ton of time over uh, trying to mark that big pipe and do a manual cut. This is a particular saw, a Hitachi. I've had a lot of good luck with other Hitachi tools in the past. And it was one of the uh, least expensive on Amazon. And it also had a five-year warranty, which is almost unheard of on any of the other comparable uh, tools. So about $150, 
no tax, no shipping. Pretty good deal. All right, hope you enjoyed.